The verse of the day is brought to you by versevisionaries.com. 1 Peter 2 verse 12 explores what it means to live as God's chosen people in a world that often opposes our faith. In this verse, Peter offers guidance to early Christians facing persecution, but his words remain relevant for us today. Let's dive into the text to uncover its timeless wisdom. Having good behavior among the nations, so in that of which they speak against you, as evildoers, they may, by your good works which they see, glorify God in the day of visitation. Peter begins by urging believers to exhibit exemplary conduct among non-believers. This instruction is crucial, especially in the face of hostility and slander directed at Christians. Instead of retaliating or succumbing to the same behavior, Peter advises maintaining integrity and virtuous behavior. Call to Exemplary Conduct Peter's call for good behavior among the nations emphasizes the importance of our conduct as ambassadors of Christ. In a world where Christians are often criticized and misunderstood, our actions speak volumes about the authenticity of our faith. By living uprightly, we challenge misconceptions and demonstrate the transformative power of Christ in our lives. Our behavior serves as a testimony to God's grace and reflects the character of Christ to those around us. Anticipating Persecution Peter acknowledges the reality of persecution and opposition. He anticipates that non-believers will speak against us as evildoers. This is a sobering reminder that following Christ may invite ridicule and hostility. However, Peter encourages believers not to be discouraged or disheartened by such treatment. Instead, he points to the potential impact of our good works on those who observe them. The Power of Good Works Our good works encompass acts of kindness, compassion, and righteousness motivated by our love for God and others. These deeds have the power to challenge misconceptions and soften hardened hearts. Through our exemplary conduct, we have the opportunity to glorify God even in the midst of opposition. Our actions can serve as a catalyst for others to recognize the truth of the gospel and ultimately glorify God in the day of visitation. The Power of Good Works The phrase Day of Visitation carries eschatological significance, referring to the final judgment or the culmination of God's redemptive plan. On that day, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Philippians 2 verses 10 to 11 Our faithful witness and righteous living contribute to this ultimate glorification of God. Thus, Peter's exhortation extends beyond mere earthly implications to eternal significance. Glorifying God in Adversity So how do we apply Peter's teachings in our lives? Firstly, we must prioritize our conduct as followers of Christ, striving for excellence in every area of our lives. Our actions should reflect the love, grace, and truth of the gospel, even when faced with opposition or persecution. Secondly, we must remain steadfast in our commitment to righteousness, resisting the temptation to retaliate or compromise our beliefs in the face of adversity. Finally, we must trust in God's sovereignty and ultimate vindication, knowing that our faithful witness will bear fruit in due time. Let us be encouraged to live as God's chosen people, demonstrating His love and truth to a watching world. May our good behavior and exemplary conduct draw others to glorify God and ultimately experience the transformative power of His grace. Amen. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below.